and cannon. Ball and cannon? Ball and chain, more like it. What do you mean? Do you know, he never lets me out of his sight, him. He follows me everywhere. I get no privacy. <laughs> Fully everyone at all. Oh no? No. What about this morning when I were down at Butcher's, eh? Chatting that bird up. When I were trying getting us a chicken for our dinner. What about that? Pull it. I tried to do, but you put me up. <laughs> Keep looking at me over the chicken with them beady eyes of yours. Mm. I told you. What did I say to your relatives? I said I'll look after him when he's in London. I'll keep my eye on him. Yeah, but there's no need to follow me everywhere, Tommy. I mean, it's hard enough living in that flat together, isn't it? Nah, it's not easy, Bobby, is it, living with, together in that flat? In fact, it's very hard. Mm. In fact, it's very, very, very hard. <laughs> Tommy, why is it I'm getting this feeling you're trying to tell me something? <laughs> no, Bobby, I'm just trying to say it's not easy, is it, for two guys to share an apartment? No, it's very hard. I mean, look what happened two weeks ago. Hey, Tommy. Hmm? We had the biggest bust-up ever, didn't we? Tommy, keep your mouth shut. People could be listening to this. <laughs> and it was all his fault. Tommy! <laughs> Come on, Bobby, will you? Open this door. I'll be out in a minute. <laughs> You've been saying you'll be out in a minute for the past hour. Now open this door. Morning. <laughs> it's my bathroom as well, you know. Tommy, you can't do any private functions. <laughs> You've got to let nature take its course. And that's my paper you've got there. Tommy, I'm just reading my horoscope. Oh, yeah, what does it say? It says I'm going to hear the patter of tiny feet. Hmm? I think my Auntie Lily's coming for that weekend. Another <laughs> <laughs> stay to this bathroom, Bobby. Hey? You never hang up the wet towels, do you? Hey? Look at this. Never do you put the top on the toothpaste. What a mess you are. I've just been reading your horoscope. Yeah? It says you're going to be in a very good mood and extremely kind to your roommate. <laughs> so what's wrong with you? You've got little foibles. <laughs> well, nobody's perfect. I'm talking about your angles. Hey, <laughs> let me tell you something. <clears throat> You've got foibles as well, Tommy. I'll be big ones. But what do you mean by that? Well, you golf. Right? Well, because you're the menace with your golf, Tommy. Keep putting in the bedroom at night. I'm fried to go to sleep with my mouth open. <laughs> well, let's be honest, Bobby. It's not easy sharing an apartment together. And all that. <laughs> hey, hey! Oh, oh, that's my best shirt! Oh, sorry, stupid idiot. Blimey, you've got out at the wrong side of bed, haven't you? I can't help it. I can't get the towel soap, son. Oh, look at that, wet through. What's that? Yeah, nothing. Nothing. Hey, come on, let's have a look. <laughs> what is it? All right, if you must know, right, it's my cup final ticket. Cup final ticket? Yeah. To big match at Wembley? Yeah, cost me 50 quid, that did. 50 quid? Yeah. You've been done. What a rip-off that is. <laughs> You've been really done, you. <laughs> you couldn't get me one, could you? <laughs> well, I couldn't. I got this from one of the TV boys, right? One precious ticket only, and I got it. You're not going to go without me, are you, Tom? But what do you want me to do, Bobby? Tear the ticket in half, you watch one half, I watch the other half. <laughs> hey, you're staying, I'm going. Oh, shoot. <laughs> you stop messing this bathroom up, right? If you're not careful, I'll get a daily woman. You do, and I'm going to tell you why. <laughs> you can't get me a cup fire ticket, then. Forget it, Bobby, right? That was the last one, and I got it. All right. I think I should have one. We'll talk soon. Oh, What's this? <laughs> What's what? <laughs> this muck. <laughs> oh, that's a takeaway I took away. I got... I got it from that Indian cafe, you know the one, Cash and Curry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the remains are left over as usual, eh? You never clear up after you, do you? No, I'm going to warm it up for my breakfast. Do you want some? <laughs> Not likely. What do you call this when it's fresh? Uh, that's onion bhaji with meatballs. <laughs> <laughs> you know that? Your tongue, that makes your eyes water and you get a lump in your throat all the same time. <laughs> Stabulous stuff. Yeah. <laughs> You're a proper little gourmet, you are, aren't you, Bobby? Eh? This is the fourth Indian meal you've had this week. I know I'm gonna have to cut down. <laughs> I was half the night last night. <laughs> 
Mindy Lou. Most of the time I couldn't get out. <laughs> How many times have I told you? A thousand times I've told you, haven't I? When you have a meal, clear up after you. Make me a cup of tea. Make me a cup of tea. <laughs> hey, what's the matter? I do everything. It's time you did a bit more. Tell me I do my bit. Your bit? See that? That's a washing machine. <laughs> right? Why don't you try washing a few things out once in a while? Tell me, I can't be doing mundane things like washing smalls. I mean, after all, I'm a television idol. <laughs> yes, idol's the word. <laughs> right, I'll see you later. Where are you going? I'm going for a game of golf. Playing golf again? You're not going to leave me to put the milk bottles out and everything, are you? <laughs> Listen, I'm meeting the apartment manageress at the golf club. We're going to play around. You do it, I'm going to tell you what! <laughs> I'll tell you what, that Heinz, what a fabulous inventor him. Mm. <laughs> Hold on. Huh? What's up? It's your turn. You must be joking. I did it this morning. You know what I'm doing? I'm going to relax and watch TV. Watch telly? Yep. <laughs> it's on purpose. Shut up, right? Now, the fifth and final round, general knowledge. We begin with the individual sets of questions. Here are yours, Mrs. Maitland. Oh, not big in crypt and big in factor. <laughs> it's really boring, this. Bobby, just shut up, like. I like watching a little bit of culture. Give us that, Tom. Tommy, I want to watch Night Rider. <laughs> I love it when he talks to his car. I think he loves it. Give us that. Get off, <laughs> right? Night Rider's on after, all right? Don't try turning it down. I want to listen to this. Tommy, there's a stag movie on Channel 4. Loving the dust. <laughs> Bobby. Just listen, and you might learn something. Second question. Where was Anne Boleyn beheaded? I know that one, under her chin. Under her chin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you shut up and listen. Name Rudyard Kipling's most famous creation. Easy. He made exceedingly good cakes. <laughs> That's it. You've spoiled it for me, haven't you? Why don't you go and do something useful round the house? Give us a remote control, I'll shut the curtains. <laughs> I'll shut your eye in a minute. Oh, d Bobby, why don't you go and hoover the hall or make the beds? I mean, surprise me. You'll be surprised if you're looking kitchen. <laughs> yeah, don't tell me. You've had another Indian meal. Don't be psyche, Tommy. Well, some of us were golfing today. Some of us rent round the flat and collected all your dirty underwear... Towels and shirts, and I put them all in the washer. That's all. You didn't. I did. I don't know why they call them smalls, they weighed a ton. <laughs> oh, I'm very impressed with all that, Bobby. Hey, you didn't put the coloureds in with the whites, did you? What are you talking about? Segregated laundry? <laughs> you can get five for <laughs> Don't tell me. Eh? You've put them all in together, haven't you? Made one load. Oh, man. There's no law against it, is there? Don't be stupid. What's that, man? Oh, so we Oh, look at that. What's up, that? Look at it. What number did you put that on? Number one, it's my favourite. <laughs> Bobby, that's not very, very hot. Oh, you didn't put the blue towels in, did you, with the white shirts? Yeah, just one big bunk of bungle, just put them in. <laughs> oh, pff, pff. oh, just look at that lot now. They're all blue. We can dress up as the Smurfs. <laughs> Look at them. Hey, they used to be white, they did. You can use them as gym shorts. <laughs> Stupid. Look at this. Hey, my best shirt. I can't wear that again, can I? Uh, of course you can. Wear it with your pyjama bottoms. Keep your back warm. <laughs> Stupid, look at it. It's shrunk. It'll look well on me, won't it? Oh, <laughs> God, it be Wait a minute. What? Oh, no. That had me... Oh, no, that had me... Good final ticket! <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at the... <laughs> That's it. It's ruined now, that. It's ruined! The ticket ruined! Tommy, I could put it in microwave. Get out! <laughs> Realise what you've done? I'm beginning to get a rough idea. <laughs> You've ruined my football ticket. And you've done it on purpose. There's no need to say that, Tommy. I'm only doing my bit. Doing your bit? You call that your bit? 
You knew what you do when you put my blue shirt, my shirt in there with a ticket in. <coughs> Blimey, you've done it on purpose just because you hadn't got a ticket. I did not. I did not. <laughs> you take that back now. <laughs> I can't take it back, can I? Look at it, it's ruined. Well, it's too late, so stop going on about it. We're only a flipping accident, weren't it? Anybody can have an accident, you know. Accident my foot, right? Accident my foot. <laughs> I'll step on your foot if you don't shut. You get the mask. <laughs> like I'm sick of it, right? I'm sick of it. I'm sick of you and your foibles, right? But enough. Enough is enough. Hey, I'm going to tell you something now. My sentiments exactly. I don't have to stay here to be insulted, you know. Good. Go somewhere else then. <laughs> what did you say then? Go somewhere else? Yeah. Move out. Right, just leave me in peace. <laughs> right, I will. Because I'll tell you something. I've had enough of you and nagging. You're worse than the wife. <laughs> you know that. You're like a woman, I'm sure you're a woolly wolf, do you? <laughs> I will move out. I'll move into an hotel. <coughs> on my own. <coughs> and I'll love it. Love it! <laughs> yeah, and I'll love it too. A nice change not to have a little boy around the apartment. <laughs> boy? I'm a man's man, me. I'm a man's man who's going out into a man's world where men do what men do, where men have got to do it. <laughs> so I'll tell you about me and you, shall I, Tommy Cannon? Finito. We're finished. Caput. Just get out of my life. <laughs> Well, I forgot my Mickey Mouse clock. <laughs> Lily, I'm having a fabulous time up here in London. Bags of excitement and thrills galore. <laughs> Tommy's fine, but the weather's just a little bit miserable. Anyway, hoping this finds you the same, your loving nephew, Robert. Kisses. <laughs> Blimey, what a long afternoon this is. <laughs> Three o'clock. You know something, Mickey? You're getting slow in your old age. <laughs> you said the same time an hour ago. <laughs> Blimey, Mickey, you've stopped to cut finals up. <laughs> come on, Liverpool, come on! When you want. <laughs> Past Bruce Gobblehob. <laughs> what a belter! You see that then, Tommy? <laughs> Come on, Everton! Come on, Everton! Come on, there, boys! Get! Hey, we are the champions! <laughs> foul! Foul! Do you see foul? Do you see that book? Go <laughs> this a four-star picking hotel. I'm gonna phone the manager. <laughs> Hello? Hello, who's this? It's Tommy. Tommy who? <laughs> Tommy who? Tommy Cannon. Oh, that Tommy Cannon. Mm. Mm. I thought, uh, just thought I'd give you a ring at half time. Well, you're paying for phone call, aren't you? Please yourself. <laughs> Sounds very quiet there, Bobby. Um, not watching the game then? Mate, no, Tom, no, no, because uh, I've got no time, you see. I'm trying to throw this big party up here. How's <laughs> <laughs> it getting on with you, Tom? You're throwing a big party? 
Yeah, yeah, just hang up. Mandy, get Mandy, get us another drink, will you? Come on, Mandy, hang on, Tom. <laughs> just get us a packet of Chris, will you, man? It's wild here. <laughs> I'm a married man. How's it going over there, Tom? Who's this Mandy? That's the big party I'm trying to throw. Mm. Are we all right there? Oh, it's fabulous here, Bobby. Oh, it's terrific. All our show business friends have come down, uh, you know, come in to watch the soccer. Oh, that's nice for you, then. Mm. Oh, it'll, it'll all be in the Sunday papers. They're all here. All there? Oh, yeah, of course they are. Tarby, Parky, uh, Brucey, Fergie. <laughs> George Ferguson, the plumber. <laughs> what do you want, Silla? Your team are here. Leave it to me. I'll get. Excuse me, Bobby. A team are here. I'll get you one, Silla. Hang on, Silla. <laughs> Silla, wait a minute. Oh, want some ice with it, right? <laughs> some salt water, right? <laughs> Four. Be careful with the soda water, will you? Tommy, somebody, yeah. somebody sounds like they're making a big splash. Oh, Bobby, <laughs> I can't tell you. It's wild here. Hey, sounds a bit quiet there, though. Quiet? It's crazy here, Tom. I'll tell you this. If your ears had eyes, you wouldn't believe what's... Oh, by the way, Tom, thanks very much for sending Yvonne this uh, kissogram girl round. Thanks very much for that. Kissogram girl? Yeah, she came this morning with a, a telegram like congratulating me for striking out on me own. I'll tell you what, Tom, she just won't leave. I can't get rid of her at all. Uh, I don't remember sending you a kissogram girl. And uh, I'm the only one who's supposed to know where you were living. <laughs> ah, it must have been the wife then who sent her. She's very broad minded, Tom. Oh, wait. You're going to get me thrown out of here. <laughs> what's this, uh, what's this kissogram girl look like? Oh, she's very tall, Tommy. She's dressed like a, you know, she's like a French maid. She's got all this uh, net fish on and all these frilly things, you know. <laughs> French maid? Yeah. Yvonne, will you stop that? <laughs> You're not going to pay any extra for it. <laughs> hey, what's she doing now? She's polishing side boy. <laughs> Oh, excuse me, Bobby. Sorry, Bobby. There's another dozen girls just come to the door. I'll have to leave you, pal. I'm very busy. Look, I tell you what, I'll see you Monday morning at rehearsals, if I'm sober. OK, Tom, I'll try and get there if I'm not too tired. Okay. Ta-da! Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> What do you want? Can I come in? I forgot my key. <laughs> you forget everything you do. I forget me head if it weren't screwed on, won't I? <laughs> All right, then. What have you come back for? <coughs> I've just come back to see if there's any letters or anything. Is there any mail or anything like that? Yeah, there is, actually. Looks like a bill for you. <laughs> Curry. It's from Curry House for some stuff I have. <laughs> you have enough of it, don't you? Yeah. See you, Tommy. Yeah, OK. <laughs> Tommy, I've got to tell you. Tommy, <laughs> I've got to say something before I speak. I've tried... <laughs> I've tried to live in that hotel, Tommy. I've tried for two days, three hours and 27 big in minutes. <laughs> it's freezing in there, Tommy. There's no heat, no food, it's damp. Them sheets I'm sleeping are freezing. It's like sleeping between two sheets of rye vita. <laughs> well, what happened to all the birds you had up there? I didn't have any, Tommy. We were figuring to my imagination. I mean, I weren't having big showbiz parties like you, were I? Listen, I weren't having a show business party, were I? I were on my own like you. I'll tell you straight, right? I miss you talking rubbish to me. <laughs> <laughs> I do talk rubbish, don't I? The second language. I must get on your nerves. Well, 
We all have our little faults, don't we? It's just that they don't, they don't seem as bad when you're on your own, do they? No, not really. <laughs> well, I'd better get back, Tom. OK, then I'll see you. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Bobby. What? Don't fancy a cup of tea, do you? Oh, Tommy. Yeah, I do. I'm absolutely <laughs> parched. You can't get a drink in there. Look, I'll make the tea, right? Come on. You're a real friend to me. Come on. <laughs> I'll tell you something, Tom. Yeah. I've learned something, right, with this breakup. Yeah. That you shouldn't get upset at trivial things, should you? That's true, that, Bobby. That is very, very true. Did you get lonely without me? Well, not really. I mean, to be honest about it, no. How do you mean? Well, when you left, I decided to get a new roommate. A new roommate? Yeah. <laughs> Called Lulu. <laughs> Lulu? What sort of a name's that? She's French, Lulu. She's asleep at the moment in the bedroom. <laughs> Tommy Cannon, you're a married man and all. <laughs> well, we all have our little foibles, don't we? <laughs> yes, we do. And I think yours are big ones where you're going on. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Tom, it's terrible. It's really terrible. The three of us living in this apartment. If your wife finds out, she'll never speak to you again. Be silly, right? Lulu! Lulu! Will you come out and meet Bobby? You know something, Tommy? I think it's disgusting. What do you mean? I really? Because you're a married man. I think it's really disgusting you having a girl in here. It's awful. She ain't got anybody for me, has she? <laughs> That's all right, Auntie Lilla. Yes, you can come up week of Tuesday. Pardon? You want to speak to Bobby? Well, you can't at the moment. He's a bit busy, Auntie Lilla. He's in the bathroom washing Lulu. Pardon? Auntie Lilla? <laughs> Auntie Lilla? <laughs> hey! Uncle. Come on, then, my little beauty. Let your Uncle Bobby give you a good wash. <laughs> there you are, see? I can't do with a loppy Labrador. Do you know that? <laughs> hey, Bobby. We're going to have to get Lulu house trained, I'll tell you. She's not half making a mess over these carpets. Tommy, we've all got our little foibles. I know. <laughs> she lovely? She's beautiful, isn't she? Come on, Lulu. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Yes. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, Tom. We've got to get back to the apartment. I've got to give Lulu a supper. You love that dog, don't you? I love it, yeah. I really love her. I love her. <laughs> Never had a dog before, have you? No. No. I tell a lie, yeah? I tell a lie. <laughs> Shut up while I'm talking to Tommy. <laughs> I tell a lie. My dad did buy me one when I was seven years old, a toy poodle. Toy poodle? Yeah. I nearly killed it trying to get the batteries in. <laughs> <laughs> Say good night.